how confident are the Broncos going into game one uh, in the offense after they didn't perform all that well in the preseason? Well, they've made a very concerted attempt to pump the brakes on expectations. So that tells me they, I don't, they have high expectations in the overall big picture, but they understand, as John Elway has said, Gary Kubiak said, to a lesser degree Peyton Manning has said, it's a work in progress here. I mean, they're trying to marry two concepts that don't necessarily mesh perfectly, which is run and shoot or no huddle, pistol, hurry, 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 with the idea of trying to run the football and get under center. So it's going to take a few weeks. And that could be okay because I think their defense is going to pick up the slack for one. But they, I, they are pumping the brakes on expectations right now, less with the offense. You know, does that mean 20 points? It's certainly not going to be the – you know, fire the Star Wars show people have become accustomed to in Manning's first three years. Might be against Baltimore since the last time they came in here. Yeah. Uh, I got through seven touchdown passes. Troy, uh, you, you've been around the game, even though you covered baseball forever. NFL teams, I've noted, and I don't have the statistics to back it up, turn over about a third of their team. The Broncos, and, I, and I'm just guessing here, I don't have anything in front of me, have I think eight returning starters on defense, but not as many on offense. But they got a lot of people that haven't played in a game on this roster. Is that, in your opinion, a going to be a major factor uh, during the well, course of the season? Because you've got a lot of backups that weren't on this team last year or didn't even play football this year, and you've got a few starters that are like that. Yeah, I'm more concerned about the starters on the offensive line in this one, in in that vein, Woody, that they haven't played a single snap together. <laughs> That's odd going into the first game because Mathis obviously didn't play in the preseason. So that that is a, those things are questions until they're not questions. I mean, it's fair to worry about it because you don't know. Backups are an interesting lot. The one place where they need their backups to play well is along the defensive line because Bill Kolar rotates guys through. The offensive line, you don't rotate guys. It's like baseball with your rotation, your everyday lineup. If your everyday lineup stinks in baseball, your team stinks because backups are backups for a reason. You're not rotating through offensive linemen. But defensive linemen, they lack depth. And if Kenny Ananicki is not healthy and he's racing the clock to be ready on Sunday, those guys can hurt you because they're going to see legitimate snaps, you know, whether it's 20, 25 snaps. And if they play poorly, that can affect the outcome. Offensively, it's less of an issue. You know, rather, you know, unless Ronnie Hillman were to put the ball on the ground, those offensive subs don't play as much. And, you know, as we know, that all the talk of the third, fourth, and fifth receiver really goes out the window come the season because that guy rarely catches much, has very little impact. So uh, where I would focus on that, Woody, is on defense, the defensive line specifically, and special teams. Are these young guys, like you said, haven't played in games, are they going to be able to cover kicks adequately? Because that's still a question. I mean, they, they've had issues all camp trying to figure out are they going to boom it through the end zone? Are they going to try to angle kick and, and create, you know, try to pin keep teams in? they got to figure that out soon because you can't lose field position through special teams. That, that's just inexcusable. Uh, I've got a question for all three of us, so we'll jump in where, whenever. Um, and you touched on it a little bit, Troy, but who do you think the most important we, – we know who the most important person is on offense. It's Peyton Manning. Who's the yep. most important person on the Broncos' defense? Who needs to perform? Von Miller, because he's their most talented player. And when your best player plays well, typically it brings the defense along with him. And when teams have to account for Von Miller causing havoc, it creates openings for other players. So I would say, number one, Von Miller, followed by Brandon Marshall. He needs to show he can stay healthy because he's a tackling machine.